Good evening. Let me ask you one thing. How many times have you been, have you looked up in the sky at night recently? Oh, there are so many people. Can one person answer my question, Gia? Yeah. Uh, actually, one of my uh, favorite hobbies is to skywalk. Oh. Yeah, so it's, it's like you're walking on the street, but looking up the skies, so and you feel like you're walking on the sky. Okay, good. It's dangerous. Sharon is such an exceptional case. But usually, we have jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Busy, uh, we usually taking care of the things on the ground. But have you ever thought that half of the day is night and half of the world is also the sky? So now, if you don't enjoy the night sky, then you are totally missing half of the beauty of the true world. But it is also true that most of the people don't know how to start. So, what I'm going to do today, tonight, is to let you know how we can enjoy the night sky step by step. The first step is simple. Just go to a dark place where there is no artificial light by human. There are some people who think observing the, the stars is an uninteresting thing, saying that staring at a few dots <coughs> in the dark is meaningless. You know what? I agree. If we are under the city sky. But if we go out into the countryside, then you will notice that the true look of the night sky has been covered with a curtain of scattered light, what we call light pollution. And once this shield is taken off, <coughs> there are so many stars in the sky that forms a a bright band that we call Milky Way, which is breathtaking, just looking at it. And simply experiencing this true feature of the night sky is the first step to become an amateur astronomer. Now, after experiencing the clear sky, you may want something more exciting. So the second step that I want to suggest is to look for some dynamic astronomical events. And meteor shower can be one of them. Statistically, a meteor falls in every two or three minutes. And on the meteor shower day, you will find tons of it. There are several meteor showers regularly in a year. And I will not tell you the exact dates right here, but you you can easily find it in the internet just by searching it. And realizing that the night sky is full of dramatic events will make it more enjoyable for you to observe the sky. So far, I've been talking about observing the sky with your bare eyes. Using optical devices expands your scope of vision and will make the, make the observation more interesting. But Aren't the optical devices expensive? No. I'm not talking about huge telescopes. All what you need are simple <coughs> binoculars that will only cost about $50. And with this inexpensive and simple device, there are so many things that you can explore through. You can see the craters of the moon. You'll find some moons orbiting around Jupiter. And the most thrilling part that you can do is to go through, go between the relatively close objects to reach out to the deepest part of the universe, what we call deep sky. Just imagine how exciting it would be to go through, go outside our galaxy and travel through it. That's what you can do with this simple device. So in conclusion, to start enjoying the night sky, First, go to a dark place. Second, try to look for some astronomical events. And finally, 
try to use simple and inexpensive devices. If you follow these steps and become an observer yourself, then you will feel like you've become part of nature. You will experience a whole new world. I wish I could show you right now, here. But since it is impossible, before I finish, let me quote from the world's famous novelist, Alphonse Dode's The Stars. If you have ever passed the night in the open under the stars, you will know that while we are sleeping, a mysterious world awakens in the solitude and, and in the silence. Then the streams sing even more clearly, and on their pools dance little lights like flames. All the spirits of the mountains come and go as they will, and the air is filled with faint rustlings, imperceptible sounds as if one were hearing the branches burgeoning and the grass growing. The day gives life to the world of humans and animals, but the night gives life to the world of things. And I hope someday you will spend all night under thousands of twinkling stars to understand what this means. Thank you.